Today's Thursday. The select committees have been sitting this morning. Uh, this afternoon the House will sit from two till five. Uh, we'll be sitting under the level one uh, arrangements uh, so that people will be able to sit next to each other in, in the benches. Uh, but just for today we'll have the proxy arrangements uh, so that not all members uh, have to travel to Wellington just for the three hour sitting. Um, we'll start off with a business statement from the Leader of the House, uh, possibly some questions from the Shadow Leader. We'll go on to oral questions. Chris Bishop to the Minister for COVID-19 uh, response uh, about actions relating to COVID-19. Uh, Greg O'Connor to the Minister of Finance uh, about business support uh, in light of the recent uh, COVID uh, lock, uh, shutdown. Uh, Brooke Van Velden to the Minister of Housing uh, about uh, rental policies. Uh, Ginny Anderson to the Minister of Education about one year about a high school and this building program. Uh, Michael Woodhouse to the Minister of Transport about uh, Let's Get Wellington Moving um, program. Karen McAnulty uh, to the uh, Minister of Economic Development uh, about the effectiveness of the border crossing arrangements during the latest uh, COVID levels. Uh, Todd McClay to the Minister of Tourism about whether he stands by his comments about international visitors. Jan Logie uh, to the Minister of Social Development about um, income sufficiency. Uh, Paul Eagle to the Minister of Defence about uh, Afghanistan. Uh, Nicola Willis to the Minister of Housing about uh, supply and demand and the gap between them. Uh, Barbara Edmonds to the, Minister, to the Associate Minister of Foreign Affairs uh, about working with the Pacific uh, on rolling out uh, the vaccine. And uh, Nicole McKee to the Minister of Police about gang and police numbers. We'll then go on to a government notice of motion to do with the membership of the Intelligence and Security Committee. The, uh, uh, the House has to appoint uh, the committee. The, uh, there are nominations, um, the, nominated by the Prime Minister, but uh, two of the nominations come from the Leader of the Opposition. Uh, there's the Food uh, Continuation of Dietary Supplements Regulations uh, Amendment Bill in the name of Dr Asha Verrill. Uh, this is the committee stages uh, and the third reading if leave is granted. The secondary legislation bill, second reading David Parker, uh, which just tidies up um, some of the law around our regulation making processes. Uh, that'll take us through till five o'clock and the House will adjourn and we'll come back at two o'clock on Tuesday the 23rd of February.